oh so pensively for the amazing grand finals to begin. And here we go. Who is manually picking the song? <laughs> All right, we got Suarez and Stocktaker in his brand new, or maybe not super brand new, but Stocktaker has a Palutena now on top of the Wolf, the Villager, and the 80,000 other characters that he plays. And of course, Suarez will have his tried and true Yoshi ready to go. And look at this. Zero Nun's team taking a very early lead. And I just noticed something. I'm not 100% sure. Wow, okay. Dude, zero to ton. Zero to none was not taking that explosive flame setting down. He just ran and kicked him. So I'm not 100% sure why they did this, but Zero to none is wearing the blue costume while he's on red team. And at one point, I saw... I saw PK Chris attack him. Maybe because he was blue, or maybe it was just a misinput. But all the same, it might be something that comes into play. All right, here we go. It sure makes it harder for me to follow the action, though. Let's see. No contact with the forward smash, but Suarez does find his down, down B. Nice. Oh my god. Gets the kick. Not even waiting for Suarez to throw those eggs. He's just out there. And Zero Nun's lightning kicks are all just making contact. I'm so surprised. And I know it's obvious because they were literally just playing in losers semis and finals, but yes, it is uh, Zero to None and PK Chris who are coming from loser side. They're gonna have to clutch out this set and then they're gonna have to clutch out another set on top of that. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, they're having a strong first set. They're having a strong showing for this very first game one. And Suarez missing a really easy punish there from the uh, up B from Zero Nun, but it's fine. Gets the air to there. Calling it a day. Zero Nun's not wasting any time here. And PK Chris showing us that you can just magnet right out of the egg. I'm digging it. Oh, here we go. Blue team is together, or should I say surrounded? All right, everyone's on their last legs except PK Chris. Finds the up smash. Not strong enough, though. Not for heavy boy Yoshi over here. Finds the back air. And that's first blood here. Let's see how it goes. This is still doable if Suarez manages to uh, take zero to none stock. Or PK Chris can just walk the dog all over him. That's an option, too. They ban the triplex, and they're off to the races. A good choice against a team with Yoshi and Palutena on it. But they didn't ban this against the team, against uh, Frozen's team, which was Palutena and Falco. Perhaps they're just very worried about Yoshi on the triplet. Yoshi. Elba. We'll have to see. And we have Stocktaker not wasting any time immediately. Just running it back to PS2. Three, two, and thankfully, uh, Zero None has go. put on the red costume, thus reducing my confusion for the commentary. <laughs> I like that they gave us that option to, uh, you know, surround the characters with colors. But honestly speaking, they need to improve the uh, strength of that effect, because it's really hard to see all the same. Nice power shield. Calls out the back air from uh, Suarez. Goes for a down air attempt, but no luck. And they're both opting for edge guard situations, but no, Zero Run called it today. He's like, nah, I gotta help my friend, my my Ness. Here 
we are. DK Chris is holding down the fort here. And we're in two more edge guard situations. Look at this. Let's see how it goes. Will either of them find a kill? No luck. We're still in this game. Sacktaker almost gets the kill with Palutena's F tilt. And finally, first blood and second blood. Both found by Stocktaker. Zero Gun not respecting uh, this little boy's privacy. Immediately dumps him with a forward smash. Not just like that, Blue Team has put like a hundred, yeah, more than a hundred damage on the board that quickly. I hope they're not getting too anti for kills right now. And there they go. They find their kills, but not after taking 80 damage per person. Oh, I like the use of the get attack, but Suarez... Suarez wasn't having it. He just went for the down B. He's like, I'll get out of the way of it and attack back. Very smart. See how this goes. Here comes the up air. Super strong from Palutena from Stocktaker. And there we go. <laughs> Zero Nun mashing down air and then taunting afterwards. Like, yeah, that was stupid. But I'm still owning it. Still isn't looking too good for Red Team, though. Even despite that wild Chris. And PK Chris is getting edge guarded endlessly here. Zero Nun just can't find his way in to help him out. Here we go, Zero Nun stock is lost. I can't see them getting this, but if they do something crazy like that, it. Never mind. Game two goes to Sock Taker's team. And what will they ban? Immediately banning the Bane of Teleports, Unova. They're going to Smashville, picking that house preview. Team battle. I have to say, this song is massively underrated. Like, when I first heard it, I was just thinking, wow, this song isn't very good. Turn it off. And now that I've actually heard it, I've really warmed up to it. It's just so, so calming. And yet so, so hectic at the same time. Anyway, let's get to it. With Zero Nun finding a parry on Yoshi's ground pound. It's another strong start for Blue Team. Let's see how this goes. And. Just barely lives the lightning kick. We're gonna have to see how this goes as Suarez takes first blood while we're not while no one's paying attention. Except Suarez himself. This one isn't too bad yet though, especially if Stocktaker decides to mess up a teleport cancel and fly off the stage. The threat of that is very real on this map. Since the only spots to uh, teleport cancel off of could send her careening to her own demise. Now this is what I call an even game. Oh, nice heal that didn't work. And PK Chris is just throwing PK fires without, <laughs> with reckless abandon and no regard for anyone's safety. Have the down throw. No fallout though. Zero Nun did a good job protecting him there. Stocktaker is like, you can't space this. It's you can't space me. I'm gonna break the zone with dash attack. 
Careful there. PK Fire Punish. I like what PK Chris is doing there. Magnet stalls to get out of the way of potential ledge attacks and finds the kill with Nair all the way off stage. Doing a great job stock tanking, though not as good as uh, everyone else. Not as good as uh, Zero Dunn over here. Oh, is Stock Taker getting NC for a kill? Let's say. Let me see what he goes for. Goes for a roll ledge back throw. The classic. That's been a staple since uh, Brawl, I think, where you roll the ledge and then just back throw someone. No, it was definitely at its strongest in Smash 4, that's for sure. Wow, PK Chris must have swung like 50 buttons there. What is going on? It's mayhem! I love these scramble situations. They're so infrequent, though. All right. Blue team is knocking on Heaven's door over here. Let's see how it goes. Although, I suppose for Palutena, Heaven's door is just her front door, but still. No chance. And good timing. Nessa's up smash, uh, Nessa's yo-yo edge guards don't work as well against Palutena, Zelda, and Wii Fit Trainer. And that's the back throw. Ness is like, yeah. Back throw. So I can quickly mention this. Uh, for Ness's yo-yo edge guards, the ones where he holds over the ledge and then you get caught as you're trying to grab the ledge and get sent flying away, uh, what happens is it doesn't work on a couple of characters. Palutena, Zelda, and Wii Fit Trainer are two, three of the biggest examples. Because what happens is when they're recovering, they all put their hands above their head so when Ness's yo-yo hits them, it hits their hands, but their hit animation doesn't have their hands up, so they go down and they're no longer being hit by yo-yo, they just fall right out. It's very helpful for them, but yeah, in that, Ness can circumvent this by just letting go of off smash at the perfect time, but that's difficult to time, obviously. It suddenly becomes something that Ness has to uh, think about and actually time with really good precision. Otherwise, he's only looking at like 0.1 damage for his trouble. Quite literally 0.1. All right, here we are on game four. A set count for zero to none and PK Chris. <gasps> All right, I lost my breath there. Oh, no good. But no punish either. And, whatchamacallit, Stock Ticker finds some down throws, but he's not going for anything afterwards. There we go, the back throw attempt. All right, the two teams are converging back with their friends. And look at this, zero to none. It chunks out the forward smash. Just hoping someone will run into it and his wish is granted. He must have found all three pieces of the Triforce before coming to this match. And the wish he made was, I wish that this forward smash would kill someone. Nice up smash, catching the ledge stand. With this one frame of vulnerability, that is no easy feat. And <laughs> just everyone converged on the same spot there. <gasps> wow! I've never seen that before. I've never seen someone eat Ness out of PK Rocket like that as Yoshi. And he passed Ness right through his body while it was still all full of electricity. I can't believe it. All right, pal, Dana. Here we go. Both the blue team are in dire straits here. But it's still looking pretty even, so let's see. If 
God, Zero Gun has just been doing such an amazing job fighting back. And I honestly feel like it's because... Never mind. I said that, and then Palutena is like, nah, look at my gigantic light rod of knowledge. Alright, PK Chris is going to try very hard. He doesn't want to lose this stock advantage. It's really important. He's trying to approach, but he knows that danger of Palutena's dash attack. It might just come out. Oh my god, it backfires. Suarez went for the uh, edge guard. But no luck. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Right there. And he killed himself. Devin, go to the replay for a sec. I just want to point out what I was talking about. Oh no, I don't think Devin can hear me. Rest in peace. What do you want, numbers? Oh, can you play the uh, replay? Which which one? The last one. Oh, the, the very last bit? Yeah, I just wanted to show what I was talking about right there. Literally the beginning of the replay was what I was talking about. Oh. How uh, Palutena recovered, touched the yo-yo, and then just fell out of it immediately. Huh? Oh. Anyway. And look at this. <laughs> we got Dorp's bow owner in the house. Or coming out of the house, if you look at that intro. Stocktaker's original love. Let's see how it goes. Using the creepy dot eyes alt over here. Now, Villager being in the match like this can be really dangerous because of a couple of factors. The first one is that Phantom Villager can just pocket that thing. It has to be uh, moving when it happens, but still. And the other problem is, if PK Chris is forced to use PK Thunder at any point in time, and Villager is nearby, that's the end of his stock. Because we've all seen it in Smash 4. You can just put that thing in his pocket and call it a day. Well, her pocket. However, Red Team has had a really strong start to begin here. Back throw, and PK Chris attempted to find it, but no luck. Stocktaker isn't using Palutena anymore, and honestly, this is a character with a very linear recovery. He is free to uh, go for Yo-Yo Witch Guards if he finds the opportunity. Nice edge guard for Suarez. There's the back throw. Stocks are evened up. All right, Stocktaker is going to do his best to be a, just a complete nuisance so Suarez can get in, rain down the hurt. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I've never seen PK Rocket ram into an axe just like that. Stocktaker's really looking for that axe, I gotta say. He's just like, I gotta cut this boy. So far, it does seem like the character choice has been paying off. Oh my god. Zero got knocked around by everyone. And I do have to say, Stock Ticker is having a lot of fun just throwing out axes everywhere. He's a killer, I tell you. Nice attempt. Good use in Nary's love. Yeah, it was too obvious. Oh, oh! No oh, good. He's got a full stock to work with, but he has to take out Swords like yesterday. Uh, 
Egg. All right, he's gonna try to combo an egg into forward air, huh? See what they get. Nothing. <laughs> Gets the forward air, calls it a game. Oh, then it seems like this villager choice has worked out for him. Be. Smashville and Lilac Cruz. So I guess just a couple of stages they're uh, uncomfortable on. And of course, when push comes to shove, there's only one stage for the job PS2. Oh, Battlefield, never mind. Oh, Battlefield. An interesting choice. And Stocktaker just picks up a, a spare by dropping two bowling balls. That's what I like to see. We don't get to see double kills this brutal. You don't get to see double kills that brutal in uh, singles, that's for sure. And he's going to try. Doesn't reach the stage in time, though. And I have to say, Suarez and Stocktaker are running away with this right now. Zero and Chris are going to really need to uh, formulate a game plan here. They want to take this home. Well, that's certainly a start. Evened up stocks. Let's see what they do with it. Respect what he went for. No. All right, PK Chris, you are a maniac, and I do respect it. He could have footstooled him. Oh my gosh. He actually, actually could have footstooled him. That's insane. Two frame. Oh, no two frame. Oh, well. And that's an SD. Suarez is just like, I don't feel like being alive right now. And <laughs> oh my god, the villager net. That's what we call big spaghetti. Oh. at this. He's just like, <laughs> Suarez is, all right, guys, I'm, I'm about to head out. Peace out. Let's go.
Let's freaking get it. I assume he meant to double jump air dodge so he couldn't get footstooled out of it. But no such luck. Anyway, despite a rocky game two, it is now championship point for Stocktaker and Suarez. Counterpicked. Town and city. All right, they're opening up with a really lively offense right now. Red team, that is. Might be able to take this game back. Or will it be too little too late? Counterpick advantage on uh, Suarez's team and... Okay, zero to none. What do you have to? Oh, he's really looking for those up Bs. I respect it, but... There's a little kid with an axe trying to get you right now. Alright, finally finds one. No kill, though. Finds the lightning kick. Doesn't hit uh, PK Chris, thankfully. That would have been a, that would have been sad. And look at this. Uh, Zero None has found the stock lead. Very nice. Let's see how it goes. Stock takers in that edge guard situation. Does ledge stand in the Ness yo-yo, but PK Chris lets go early, not believing in it making contact like that. Suarez finally takes uh, Zero Nun's first stock. But meanwhile, Zero Nun is fine to take Stock Taker's second stock. We shall see. Oh, but Suarez says, no, I'm going to kill my teammate, not you. Much to my surprise, uh, Stock Taker hasn't pocketed a single Phantom yet. If I had to guess, it's probably because uh, Zero Nun isn't throwing them out too often. In the situations where it might apply, well, they might not always apply. Or at the very least, uh, PK Chris might be in there, making sure he can't just put things in his pocket for free. Suarez flashing shield. Just like that, it's evened up. Suarez gets the sky high forward air. That's a big spike. Let's see, is there red team still got a lot of uh got a pretty decent lead actually. And Suarez Suarez definitely just saved Stocktaker's life right there. Because he was definitely gonna get down smash killed. God, both teams have just been so good at uh, intrusion and making sure their teammate is staying safe. I really respect it. And PK Chris Magnet back is his own teammate. And Suarez defend for himself in a 2v1. That's right, the only choice here is to try to kill Zero to None. Oh boy. Oh my god, Suarez dodged everything. Look at that. And there's the back throw. Alright, it's up to Stock Taker. Let's see what he can do. Oh! Okay. <laughs> nice nair from PK Curse. All right, and we are moving to game four of this true finals. Yoshi's story and Kalos was banned, so I guess they're also just banning uh, uncomfortable stages. 
since those two stages are not even close to related. One has tiny blast zones and slants and walls. The other one has walls and has big blast zones. What's the counter pick though? Battlefield again. Smart's team definitely won on the stage already, so let's see what happens. If they can win the tournament this time. Oh, well, on this one. Speechless. This whole first stock was absolute mayhem. And still is. And there we go. Zero Dawn read that, that air dodge. Just took him to town. And second blood will be on DK Chris's life. And just like that, Swords is already sitting at 48 on second stock. Zero Dawn has lost his stock. DK Chris better the heck out of there. He does not want to get 2v1. My god, and that is one mauled shield from Zero None. Nice, that's a great edge guarding tool against Villager. What the heck killed him? He must have reflected a uh, slingshot, I guess. Yeah, that neutral B is great for edge guarding villager because they can't just come up with slingshots. If they do, it would be the last mistake they ever make. Suarez gets the ground pound, but pays for it. No good. I like how Zero to None is wasting no time in immediately recovering to the stage. He knows he can't. He knows he can't just leave uh, PK Chris in a. Uh, Whatchamacallit, in a 2v1 for too long. Oh my god, and there goes there goes everyone. <laughs> and they come respawning. Zero Nun's not gonna have a lot of iframes to work with here though. Let's say that one misstep might have cost them, but they can still bring it back. In terms of percent in stock, it's not too bad. But it's really going to be predicated on uh, Red Team not getting antsy for the kill. If they go crazy, it could cost them. Oh. And uh, Zero Nine and PK Chris both going for Stock Taker without calling out, I got it, I got it! Like in baseball. All right. Whoever takes first blood, that could be it. And never mind, oh my god, Stocktaker threw out the random bowling ball, and it worked. Suarez is choosing not to. And surprisingly, that that's right, you can reflect the water. He wasn't able to make it grow. Here we go, the axe is online. Stocktaker isn't pretty... Stocktaker has not um, pocketed a single one of these phantoms yet, though. I'm so, and there's the slingshot, goodbye. <laughs> Congratulations to Stocktaker and Suarez for winning doubles at Xenosaga 27. Uh.